Hi, I'm Lorraine from Aptus Speech Therapy. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about speech pacing practice with Siri. Who is Siri? Well, Siri is the digital voice assistant built into iPhones and iPads. The really good thing about Siri is that he'll only understand if you're speaking clearly and at a slower rate. So this can be really useful for people with mild or mild to moderate dysarthria who are practicing speaking more clearly and speaking at a slower rate. Siri won't understand someone who has got severe dysarthria. And the reason for that is that voice recognition isn't able to understand severe dysarthria. That may change in the future, but that's how it is for now. So how do you use Siri? Well, it depends a little bit on the iPhone or the iPad that you have. I have an iPhone that has a home button at the bottom. So for me to use Siri, I just need to press and hold down on the button for a couple of seconds, and then I'll be able to tell that he's listening and I can ask my question. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna ask Siri a couple of useful things, first of all, and then I'll ask him something that might listen, elicit an amusing response from him. Siri? What's up? What's the weather today? Here's the forecast for today. Okay, so Siri has told me that it is 17 degrees and it's cloudy and he is entirely right. Okay, next up. Siri? Go ahead. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, your timer is set for 30 minutes. That can be really useful if you're cooking. When I am cooking, I very often ask Siri to set a timer. Okay, let's try something else. Siri? Yes? What's better, an iPhone or an Android phone? Speaking for myself, I'm partial to all things Apple. Okay, so we can see we got quite an amusing response there. Um, so Siri can be really helpful. And the really good thing about Siri is that when you are speaking and, and he's listening, he will display what you have said or what he has understood. So if he misunderstands, you'll see lots of written errors and you'll see that he didn't understand what she said. And that can be really good for people with dysarthria because it will hopefully encourage them to try again and to say it more clearly. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to have a free resource, please visit our website. We have a resource called Speech Pacing Practice with Siri. And in that resource, we have some more guidance on how to use Siri. And we also list 50 things that you can say to Siri. Some of the things listed will elicit quite funny responses from Siri. So have fun and keep practicing.